working on the river at that time. My understanding is that was quite an exciting experience. Uh, the question was, while it was happening, is would there be any sandbars left after the water went down? And in fact, it turned out that there were. Not everywhere, but some bars got remarkably large. Other bars apparently completely disappeared. It was Cathedral Wash, Eddy, above Cathedral Rapid. Uh, the Eddy's basically full of sand in the era of photos in 1935. The 1984 photo shows that this Eddy complex is almost full of sand. And then later on, by 2000, you can see that there really wasn't much sand left in this eddy at all. Of course, this is very close upstream to the dam, uh, just two and a half miles below these ferry. One of the releases, floods can be erosive here, and as we say, if there isn't a sufficient sediment supply, and I don't think that's a big surprise to anybody who works in this system or sits in this room. And this is based on Jack's synthesis report that he published about four years ago now. This is available through our website, our GCMRC library website, if anybody wants this report. It's about 100 pages long. It's got a lot of photos, a lot of plots, but it has this message basically in its conclusions. We've lost about a quarter of the resource that we can measure, and it's based on the 84 photographs. So what we had in the mid-80s during those high flows is kind of the post dam standard that he uses, and he's saying by 1990, he lost about a quarter of the resource on average. In some cases, it was 100%. In some cases, there, there were no changes at all. So take home points here, I think this is the last slide. Reversals in the area of sandbar are temporary, that's what I just said, short-lived. They erode back into the river or blow away. Increasing the long-term average size of these bars requires shorter intervals between bar building floods, which in turn requires larger quantities of sediment available for transport during those floods. However, the floods cannot be released into a canyon without sediment available for transfer from the channel to the eddies. If you don't know how much, and where the sediment is before a high flow or a flood is released, you can do more harm than good. And that's his main point. Trying to fix the problem, we know we can't build sandbars except by having flows that are higher occasionally for a limited time. But if we don't have the proper sand supply when those high flows occur, you can end up doing more damage than good.